So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No! When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? He refuses the throne. Everyone here has heard him. I think it's clear then. He abdicates in favor of me. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Enora. Warden, will you help us? I want to speak to Nora first. Certainly. Are you prepared for this? Are you sure it's what you want? I have never had the smallest doubt. I'm ready to choose. As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead Ferelda? I shall rule at Queen Anora's side as her husband. My husband, the King Consort, the general of my armies, and the hero who will save Ferelden from this blight. My first act as queen must be to insist on receiving Alistair's oath before all the lands meet, to relinquish all claim to the throne for himself and his heirs. Oh, I never wanted it. I mean, yes, of course. Happily, in fact. And now, lords and ladies of Ferelden, there is still a blight to defeat and armies to gather. And I appoint this man to lead us in both. We will not allow this land to be further threatened by the Archdemon. Gather your forces and await the King Consort's command. On the morrow, we shall begin our struggle against the greatest threat Ferelden has ever faced. And we shall triumph over it, for we are Ferelden. So it's done. My father is dead. I never thought he would go so far. I never thought it would end like it did. Such a waste. You're not thinking of avenging him, my hope. There is no point. He accepted his fate, and so do I. You kept your end of the deal, I will keep mine. The engagement will be announced at my coronation. Provided you are still interested. Why not announce it now? Things could change in the near future. This blight is not yet over, after all. Arl Eamon has left for Redcliffe, and tells me that our armies have almost fully gathered there. I will be heading there myself. Bring your companions, and join us at Redcliffe Castle as soon as you are able. You have united for Elden Warden. Now we face the blight. Ha ah, ha! Ah, ah! I've gone and, uh, say, put myself into a position of power here. Although it hasn't really been announced yet, the Warden will be king provided he survives the coming battle. But then again, there's this whole situation of him being involved with Liliana. Let's see if we can figure out some way of working this out. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? I'm here for you. Uh, we need to talk. Of course. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought I could have some sort of discussion with her about this, but nah, it doesn't seem it. Okay. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. Um. Okay, we have to go to Radcliffe Village, because that is where the army is building up, because we're going to go fight the Blight. Now, as far as we can tell, the Blight started down here in the Kakari Wilds, and it was spreading up, and that's what took over Lothering, destroyed it. So, that seems like as good a position as any to lead the assault against the Blight. It's like we're traveling right through it there, though. <laughs> Oh, look at this shit. That does not look good. 
And there are enemies here, of course. It's... it's you! The Grey Warden! Andraste's mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. What happened? Where is everyone? They all fled to the castle this morning, before the Darkspawn arrived. I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here, but it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. Are there more Darkspawn in the castle? By now, yes. They'd have reached the castle walls. I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again. I didn't do anything, so whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go kill some dark spawn in the village first. Okay, I killed a whole bunch of dark spawn. I can't. Oh, there's a guy hanging up there. Dark spawn are like really cool. There's no reason for that. But anyway, the, I've killed a bunch of all the dark spawn that were hiding in the in Red Cliff. Very well. So, I mean, but there's nobody there. At least nobody alive. You could go inside of any of the buildings or anything like that. So I might as well head straight to the castle. Now I'm feeling we have to fight a bunch of dark spawn once I get up there. Dark spawn everywhere. Tom Ford has killed. Now these dark spawn are not actually weighted properly against characters at this level, so they're all dying by like one hit. So it's not a big deal. Most of them, anyway. The more powerful ones, the emissary and all that, a little bit tougher. On the way? Seriously? Uh, it's just an ogre. Ooh, an ogre alpha. This is. Thank goodness. Did the Dark Spawn get in the castle? Some did, yes, but we were able to close the gates and kill the ones in the courtyard. I was told to watch for your arrival, Warden. Your comrade Riordan arrived just ahead of the Dark Spawn attack. He has urgent news for you. Wait, uh, uh, take me inside. There must be more. There must be no more delays. I should take you to the hall right away, my lord. They'll be waiting for you there. It is a relief to see you unharmed, and you as well, Alistair. The Darkspawn that attacked Threadcliffe were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. How certain are we that this is good information? I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. 
I am quite certain. Why did we think they were headed here? The Darkspawn line is wide, and many of them roam away from the main horde. Until now, most of them have been spotted here in the west. Not to mention that our forces have been distracted by the Civil War. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her preserve us. And we won't be able to reach Denerim within two days. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. I agree. We've collected an army. Let's use it. The Horde must be defeated, but the Archdemon is our true target, and only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army collected here gives you the chance you need. Arleman, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak, Your Majesty. Then give the order. The longer we delay, the longer Denerim will be at the mercy of the Horde. We can leave now, without the army. To reach the Archdemon, we need to break through the Horde. To do that, we need the army. I see no other way. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. Excellent. Then if you and Alistair could meet me before you retire, we have Grey Warden business to discuss. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. <laughs>